I'm Dr. A and welcome to Working On It. I'm a clinical psychologist aiming to make your life just a bit more manageable. Remember the tools and the tidbits that you pick up on this channel are purely educational. They can't replace therapy, but with some work, they can help you along in your daily life. I hope that after watching this video, your day will be different just from knowing something brand new today that you didn't yesterday. Let's get started. Today we'll be working on mindfulness. What is mindfulness and why is it so important? Mindfulness is one of those words that is a psychological practice and psychological term, but it is so effective and so helpful for so many different things that people deal with that it sort of bled into pop culture and we sort of throw the word around uh, constantly. So what does it actually mean? We'll learn about that today. Mindfulness comes down to a particular way of paying attention. You don't have to clear your mind. You don't have to do anything particular. It's just a specific way that you pay attention in the very present moment without judging yourself. Meaning, if your mind runs away for a minute or a second or a couple of minutes, you don't judge yourself and you don't say, oh, I can't even do this exercise right. I can't even do clearing my mind right. No, no, no. All you are trying to do is be very, very present in your life. And when your mind runs away from you, you kind of drag it back into the present. Why? Why do we work so hard on this when all our mind wants to do is not be present? It's because our mind is really bad at doing two things at once. Nobody's that good at multitasking. So if our mind is thinking about what has happened or what will happen, as dramatic as it sounds, we're not actually in our life because all we have really are moments of now to now to right now. And if we can't exist in those moments, where are we? Because sometimes we get stuck over here and over here represents regrets. Why did I say that? How did I talk to my crush like that? I'm so embarrassed. What has happened? Or sometimes we get stuck in the present. What's going to happen? What grade am I gonna get? Am I going to get a divorce? What's for dinner tonight? What will happen? The problem is this or this doesn't exist. Those constructs don't exist. Now exists. And if you notice, if you've ever been really, really present, even when something is going wrong, if you can just be in your body and in that moment, you're actually pretty at peace. Meaning you don't love what's happening to you, but you can cope, you can problem solve when you're all fully there. The problem is most of us aren't fully here in our present. I know all these things and I have trouble with it. So we have to get really, really good at being actually in our life, not what's coming up and not what has happened. Now, you will not, even with all the things that I teach you, be in this state of Zen or walking around present fully, no. But what I want you to do is to teach your brain the ability when you don't want to be stuck here or here, that you have the capacity and the skill set and the practice to drag yourself into the present. Think of it like training a puppy. When you're training a puppy to like, let's say go on the wee wee pad and not go all over the house, you drag that puppy back, I don't know, hundreds of times. Every time it runs away, you have patience with it and you say, no, here, no, here, no, here, no, here, until he gets it or she gets it. That's how we have to do it with our mind is yes, your mind will run away from you when you're doing mindfulness uh, or trying to be present, but you just have to keep dragging your mind, no, here, no, here, as many times as you have to do it. And little by little, your brain will learn the ability to be here, not here and not here, okay? How are we gonna even start this? Now that we know what mindfulness is, why is it important, how are we gonna begin this? Well. I think a good place to begin it is to take it real slow by doing things we already do very mindlessly. What is that? Well, that's brushing our teeth, mindless, washing the dishes, driving our car. Let's start there. And tell me what other things you have come up with. 
but let's start with when you brush your teeth for those at most two minutes, right? Try your best to be very, very present. In our last video, we learned how to use our senses. Try to use those senses to be very, very present and just be there for brushing your teeth. Try your very, very best to be present for washing a dish or loading the dishwasher just for those couple of minutes. Try to be very, very present for the first five minutes of a car ride. Because have you ever driven, 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 end up somewhere and being like, I don't even know how I got here, right? Because we do it so mindlessly. Now we're going to try to do those everyday tasks mindfully. Now again, it won't be all day. It will just be several moments in the day where you are flexing that muscle and teaching your brain how to do that in the first place, how to drag yourself back to now, okay? So we're going to work on that. And again, when your mind tries to, tries to run away from you, and it will, it will be like the road runner. Every time either you sit to do a specific mindfulness exercise, I know some people follow videos, or you do tasks, everyday tasks like I'm talking about, your mind will try to be like, I'm out of here, right? Like the road runner, just me, me. But it doesn't matter because that's not the point. The point is to grab it back as many times as it takes, just like training that puppy. So think of some tasks that you can do every day mindfully, two minutes, three minutes, just to start understanding what it means to be really, really present and how to do that. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will be alerted when new content becomes available and you get to support this channel so I could be making more videos for you guys to be practicing and working on different skills. In the next video, now that we got the base of what mindfulness is, why it matters, how to do it with menial tasks in our day, I will be teaching you a very specific, very easy mindfulness exercise that you can do in your life every day. It could be, a, you could make the exercise that I'm going to teach you a three minute long exercise, or you could stretch it out and make it a 10 minute long exercise. I will teach you next time so we can build on what we did today. Spending this time together is great. We're learning, we're mulling over new tools, but it means so much more when you can actually put it to use. So now that we're done with the learning part here about mindfulness and what it is and how to implement it, I want you to do the more annoying part, which is practice what we actually talked about in this video. You don't have to take my suggestions. You can do your own suggestions, but do yourselves a favor and go practice with a couple of these everyday tasks being very, very mindful. And when you do, write it down in the comments below. I'll be curious to hear what specific exercises you came up with that you do every day and how it was to be very, very present for these sort of boring everyday activities. You got this. See you next time.